gentlemen, boys and girls. My name is Barry Violet here, and welcome to Barry Violet's Reaction Block Show. I'm so happy that you came. Oh, meet Timmy Cricket, my conscience. While Pinocchio and Geppetto were out, Pinocchio's in school again, and Geppetto's out to find some locks again. You know, always into building wooden clocks and toys, and even new puppets. Any puppets that can keep Pinocchio company, in case Pinocchio gets home early from school, and Geppetto might come home a little like, you know, 4 o'clock p.m. while Pinocchio comes before 3 p.m. And now it's just me and Chimney Cricket. And guess what video we're going to react to today since speaking of Pinocchio, it's When You Wish Upon a Star, Aaron Bolton, Pinocchio. It's a good thing I asked permission, and he gave me a full permission to react to his videos as much as I want. And he's happy because of me when I say something kind to him. Okay, I'm going to rewind all, all the way to the beginning. Okay, three, two, one. Want to say you're welcome. Bye. Goodbye. Well, Timmy, that song is very beautiful, and it does remind you from what you used to sing in the beginning, a Pinocchio movie. Of course, Pinocchio 2002, where the blueberries sing. It was very beautiful. <laughs> oh, Timmy. You know, Timmy. I don't know why we feel so close to, e to each other after all these weeks in Disneyland. I'm starting to feel like we're best friends. I'm glad you loved that video. Of course that guy did a good job. What you see now is a modern. Even though what you see now is a 20th century look, Timmy. But that song can't be... But not all things can't be modern. Some things can't be called... Future nostalgia, like he's singing with 
when you wish upon a star. So without nostalgia in the modern world, then things would be boring. Without nostalgic classic songs, just like you think, like 19th century songs. Surely I teach you about the 21st century, you know, things and technology stuff. But you surely teach me what is right and wrong, like temptation that could get us in trouble. I can see why you're my conscience temporarily, why you're Pinocchio's lifetime conscience every time you go home to Pinocchio and Cepetto. Oh, you can see me talking to Chimney. You can see now that he and I were becoming close friends. Especially what we have in common is we both worry about Pinocchio get, getting himself into trouble, and we have to keep him out of trouble. Of course, I love Pinocchio as my true love. Right, Tiffany? Yep, true love always wins. So now you know what I mean is true love never fails. You know, fail, F-A-I-L-E, fails. True love never fails. It's a wonder Pinocchio loves me, and he even understands true love. I don't know why I'm getting into the musical mood of singing When You Wish Upon a Star. It's not only I can sing all of you ladies and gentlemen and fans, um, it's just especially I want to sing for Pinocchio, Geppetto, Figaro, Cleo, and of course Chimney too. This song When You Wish Upon a Star really means to him because it's part of nostalgia memories. Nostalgia is what needs to be stay existing forever. Without nostalgic songs or future nostalgia, things would never be the same in the 20 modern, the 20th century modern life. And you're right, Timony. Now, let's go to the concert. Let's go, Timony. I'm gonna teach you my magic word. Abracadabra, abracadee, take us to the concert where I sing. Not just all of you, it's Pinocchio. Pinocchio, this is for you, so I'll be singing for you, Pinocchio, with all my heart. Here goes.
so much, everybody. I just hope you have a good day. Oh, and thank you, Pinocchio, for watching me. Thank you, Pinocchio. Thank you, Geppetto. And thank you, everyone. Oh, and thank you, Aaron, Aaron Bolton. Now you understand how I feel for Pinocchio. Pinocchio is my true love after all. As much as I love him, he loves me back. And when I kiss him, he blow a kiss at me before we say goodbye to each other. I'll never forget how much Pinocchio and I love each other. Like a fairy tale of the princess falls in love with the princess that she waited. Of course, the truth is, fairy tales can turn into reality. Fairy tales is not about make-believe. You can just turn some fairy tales into reality. Like romance, for example. Example. Now we understand why children keep talk about fairies and fairy tale stuff. And now today, they are planning to turn fairy tales into reality. Now you understand the, the young people's reasons. Of course, it is okay to believe in fairy tales like romance and kiss. True love's kiss that can win your heart. Especially when it comes to save the loved ones you need. I'll tell you what true love means, which is what I understand. True love is about putting your loved one's needs first before your own. For example, I gave that candy to Pinocchio, so, so that way, he, without a snack, he'll starve. So with that candy gift, I gave it to him, so he wouldn't be hungry during his break time. So he can keep going, and he cannot go with a growling stomach. That's what makes me feel sorry for him. So that's what I do for him out of love. You know what the wise one told me is, the things you do for love, true love always wins. It's what conquers all bad things going on. No matter what happened, we can still take care of the ones we love, true loves. Like I'm taking care of Pinocchio as my true love. So you understand if you read stories about sto true love and romance, real romance that can turn into reality. I think it's time for me to go. I could have done and have fun without you. Thank you for coming. Goodbye. Upon a star, your dream. 